Okay. Hello, everyone. So, um, if you happen to watch my last stream, oh, this is odd. Uh, one second. Um, I'm sorry in advance. I have, I have a bit of a throat pain. So, um, if you watch my stream on Monday, you would have found out why I never play video games in public. It's because I'm actually really bad at video games. But I was like joking where I decided maybe I should uh, make a controller for Cruelty Squad. So I was playing Cruelty Squad, I didn't get really far. Uh, I am actually going to continue playing it like separately, not on stream and maybe get good in it because I did actually have fun, just not... Um, um, I just wasn't very good at it. Um, uh, and probably one day I'll continue doing retro streaming, but I was like, okay, I want to do a controller for it. Now, it is a little bit more of a complicated controller because, um, there's a lot more buttons and Makey Makey is fairly limited. So, um, I will eventually, it will take a few weeks of, of streaming to do this controller and I will probably have to um uh re to like uh program the makey makey uh where right now it's all plug and pl uh, plug and play but i have i'll have to use arduino and stuff like that and but so after the stream i was like oh it's not gonna happen i'm not going to make anything out of this like i'm not gonna make a controller but then I had in the middle of the night i had inspiration instead of sleeping and i was like you know what i can this weird ass like ugly uh intentionally ugly game needs as a controller uh slime like gross sl kid slime right especially neon needs slime so and slime is conductive uh, um basically the activator of the slime borax Ha is a salt like substance from my understanding so it's actually conductive um same as like play-doh so you can make a controller out of um um slime but i was like oh but i don't want to just do slime no i need a gimmick so i heard about these guys before those are uh poopsy uh, um Poopsie uh, uh, Slime Surprise, that's the name, and they're um, un Unicorn Poop Slime, which is wonderful. They're also like, were insanely uh, like expensive for what they were. Uh, I was really upset about the price. I mean, I, thankfully I have a decent job so I can like handle it, but they were really expensive. And these ones like the cheap ones. They have like ones that are a uh, hundred and something dollar for like this ugly unicorn doll that can poop slime, uh, which is amazing. Uh, but anyway, they are apparently very popular. But anyway, I was like, okay, I'm going to unbox those po poop unicorn, make a slime, and then I'll start making the controller today. Uh, meaning I'm probably only gonna get like I'm gonna like try to design how the controller will look like so I'm not actually going to probably do any play today I'm actually probably also as a note I doubt if I'll actually this would be enough slime to do anything with it um, I'll probably make maybe in, in the next stream I'll probably make my own slime uh, which is actually quite easy to, to do and use that for for a uh, thing but I wanted to check a how conductive it is B uh, just because I find it hilarious because I'm apparently a child um, and it seems very fitting to play this game with a unicorn poop slime it just seems like the thing you should be doing uh, so yeah so I'm going to unbox it and then take like a two minute break just to set stuff up and I'll start sort of designing how this controller will work and maybe check to see like just 
if I can get the basic of the game, uh, like just maybe just the shooting or something working. Because uh, my keyboard is hidden, so uh, I will have to get it out of the hiddenness. Okay, so I bought two. I also have water. Ooh, that's weird. It's still weird. Um, and in the background, we have the beautiful art of Cruelty uh, Squad. And let's unbox. So, yeah, so Poopsie Slime Surprise. Make Unicorn Poop. Half of this is in French because I bought it in Canada. Oh, there's a. Okay, so I'll take this out. Okay. And I can unroll it. Uh, there's a unroll here. I've never done unboxing, I'm very excited. Uh, I saw some videos, like uh, YouTube videos of people unboxing those stuff and it's all like overly, it's all video, uh, videos for kids so it's like overly cheerful lady talking about oh look at this wonderful thing and it's all like fucking unicorn, overpriced unicorn poop slime that's what it is I also heard that it actually doesn't create the best actual slime Okay, so we get um, unicorn food, which my guess is borax, uh, uh, which is like the main thing, the, the main thing that makes slime. Like to make slime, all you need is glue and some water, some borax. That's basically it. And like that, it's ten. Uh, unicorn magic, uh, which is my guess. Uh, um glitter or something like that because it is uh, uh unicorn poop so you know and we have i don't know what this is and we have a spoon okay so let's open this at least so i know what it is this is very uh, uneducational, especially after being to the dentist all of last week. What is what is this? Oh, I think this is scents. So it's scented, uh, and this is the spoon. Why is the plastic so strong? I have to bring scissors one second. Okay, I can't find my scissors, so this will be it. So we have, so you, I'm supposed to get, um, like, the poop container, where I put the slime in, and like, a cup, uh, which I'm guessing is this, and a measuring cup for the water, as well as all kinds of, I guess, instruction. Okay, so this has like all the different stuff. So there's early bird tard, tarts, which has like all kind of fake Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts, and you get like a cow shaped poop thing. You have a junk food one with like Coke and Pepsi and 
uh, Taco Bell and stuff like that. It's all fake ones. There's Tarts of Paradise, which is all kinds of like 7-Eleven juices and coconut stuff. And Disco Doodoo's that look like perfume bottles and booze. Anyway, this is really weird. There's obviously a rare and ultra rare and I don't know, whatever kids are interested in nowadays. And there is the instruction. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I will. It's gonna take 15 to 20 minutes until it hardens, so that's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna maybe I'll just talk to the editor as well. So I got Pepsi Shape Poopsie. Okay, this bottle is kind of cute. Um, so yeah, maybe while that, this hardens, uh, I'll do both of them and while it hardens, maybe I'll start designing the um, controller or figuring out what I need in terms of a controller. Okay, so this is my thing. Let's see. My, oh, this is measuring cup. So I need like to put water to this side and my poop this is so much plastic oh my god this is hideous uh so i got this which is absolutely ugly but okay Anyway, so what is the instruction? Okay, uh, I need to um, Okay, I need two cups of water oh, of this Oh, I'm going to make my computer very unhappy with me Okay I'll try to be exact Water, two, uh, two of those I need. Okay. Okay. And I need, let's see. And the scent. I don't know which scent I got. God, all of this is like. Set up very badly. I really should find my my scissors, but I guess that's not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna destroy my teeth. Ooh, it smells so sweet. Uh, I think it's probably like grapes, and like it's like. Like punch grapes, like when you when you like had it as a kid. It's not a very pleasant smell. Like it's super sweet. Okay, five drops. Five drops of this. And, uh, and the unicorn fruit, which again, it's, it's probably the borax and the blue. Or whatever other formula they're using. But yeah, like just, if you just use like, Basic Elmer yellow, uh, basic Elmer glue, and like uh, 
some um, borax, which is, I guess, like a salty sort of kind of thing, you get slime. And if you, apparently, if you add like shaving cream, it gets like a really pleasant uh, slime. So maybe I'll do that. And you could put food coloring for colors. We're learning so much. I did my research before this. I didn't play the game because I still suck, but I did my research. Okay, so now I have to um, okay, this is gonna be so gross. Okay, so I need to shake it well for like a bit, Ugh, it's getting more. For one minute. And then. Okay, I think this is good. Okay, so this is gonna stay here. Oof, my hands are super gross. Okay. This was gross, but let's do the other one. Once you have the, the thing, you put it here. But frankly, this is like hideous. I don't know what it's supposed to be like. Is it like a cow, a mustard cow? I don't know what this is. But I paid. As I said, this sheet cost, cost me like $49 Canadian. Like, what the fuck? Uh, also, you get like, I guess the glitter goes after. Here, I guess I can throw this away. Okay, number two. Actually, <clears throat> I'll start with unrolling. So I have the unicorn food, unicorn magic. <coughs> And I got spoon. And all of this is going to the garbage. something with those but they have holes so maybe I don't 
Like, this would have been a good, like, stuff for water, for painting, but it has too many holes. Oh, well. <clears throat> so much waste. Okay. Uh, this is the same. This is the same. I'm interested in the type of sense you get. doesn't show grape, but it sure smells like grape. Anyway, it was, it was a pleasant smell. Way too sweet. Okay. So. I want to keep this just so... Oh, I have another one. Just so I know which one I got. Um, I guess like if you're a serious collector... I don't know if there's serious collectors for poop slime stuff uh, you want to get like the more rare ones what's the rarity okay this one is a rare it looks like the Pepsi nice don't know what it means but it's a rare and the smell is either coffee yeah, I don't know. Not super rare, but rare. Okay, this is our glass. It's green. This is like a cow poop thing. It's a lot cuter than the other one. Uh, it's still really disturbing. Just saying. Um, and I got the Starbucks one. Um. Mm -hmm. I actually like those uh, containers. I might keep those. Those will be good for paint stuff. Okay. Uh, let's open the spoon. Back in my teeth. Looks exactly the same as the last one. Yes, exactly the same as the last one. Let's see what the rarity of this one. I think this one is a regular. Yeah, that's like a regular one. It is cuter than the other one. So, you know. Like, at least the cow poop thing is container. It's kind of dirty though. I don't know. Maybe I'll auction the cow poop thing. If anyone want a cow poop thing, let me know. Um, And we have the unicorn food, and let's make our poop, our slime.
Okay, this is still super sweet, but much ple more pleasant. Like, it doesn't make me gag. Seems, it smells like candy corn. Well, like, not candy corn. Um, like, just a sugary thing. So if anyone wants scented, grown scented stuff, okay. Now unicorn food. Oh, this is bright pink. Interesting. Yeah, it feels like a weird fetish site thing. I mean, if I could think of making ugly faces, like me, I would end up on the internet. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking this for a minute. Probably. take longer than um, um, than 20 minutes uh, but um, I'm gonna clean my hands again because they're gross oh sorry I walked I went on it's Toronto had lovely day um, weather today so I decided to go for a walk and apparently I'm not in shape uh, so I'm feeling every every part of my 30 something like 30 age going on there I can barely walk it's really funny um, I walk like an old lady which I am I guess but still anyway uh, I'm gonna move to another view and talk a little bit about what I can do in terms of control and how it's gonna look so I'm uh, going to grab a thing first which I hopefully have here Okay, I'll be right back. 
Just need to grab some stuff. I'm back. So, um, I just grabbed my notebook and, uh, well, let's plan some stuff. You can see, I don't know how much you can see. This is my idea notebook. It's an important notebook. Uh, and I have a makey makey here. Um, uh, maybe I'll just increase uh, this size bit just you can see more yeah um, okay and I'm going to just uh, look at the settings here um, let me move my face because you can't see anything yes okay uh, I can always go back to before after that but yeah okay so we have a makey makey this is getting slimed I don't know um, and let's just see what uh, what kind of controller we can do basically so um, so we have a few so first of all the way the game controls work is you have WASD to move And you have the shoot, which is the uh, left mouse button. Uh, you have the reload, which is the right mouse plus drag. And you have the use, which is R, um, crotch, then you have the usual jump, you have space, and you have, um, you can't really see my, it's fine, it's just my ha terrible handwriting. You have jump, that is space, and you have crouch which is x and you have the zoom which i only found out about today uh which is would have made my life easier uh which is the shift and then you have like just moving around the scene you need to use the mouse uh so like mouse look okay so um if we look at the makey makey uh whoop. I'll put it like this uh, so there's two sides so this is the like basic controller side this has uh, the move or you can turn that to WASD uh, there's a space and there's a click and that can work for a really simple game very easily um, and like again this is all plug and play so you can just uh, sorry my hitting is hitting way too much So, and you can just like uh, plug and play this, but uh, this is our more interesting area. 
Uh, so again, we have the arrow, the space, and the click. But then we have W, A, S, D here. You also have F and J. Here you have all the mouse clicks. Uh, and this is for uh, if you want to control, add like here, extra controllers. So um, I can do like, oh, connect, like similar if you've seen any of the other controller, I can just connect the uh, WSD and then connect all the mouse uh, keys and uh, or like and sort of have it it's not gonna be great but it will work uh, the thing is controls is gonna be really really shitty and I still don't have a solution for the R or the um, um, or the X as well as the shift we, we have like stuff that are missing so there's a few options to do um, so first of all I will need to and this might what you I'll do next week I'm going to have to um, reprogram the Arduino to have the first this will be WASD and not the arrow and I will need to also find and uh, here it will be uh, R and X and stuff like that this to say um, I will have to find a solution for the load and reload uh, because this is not a typical uh, like right uh, live click and stuff it's not a typical video game movement and um, and yeah, and it's it's not gonna work amazingly well. Uh, so I have to figure that out. Um, this to say. So the one thing I can probably do today once I get the slime is probably the click and maybe like uh, I'll change. I can also change the input here, here to WASD, but you know. Uh, but I can do this later. Also, my keyboard is hidden because I don't have enough space. So that's gonna be interesting. All by itself so I might have to redesign the makey make like reprogram the makey makey and as well as like figure out a way to do drag in the makey makey hello Brismos uh, thank you for following me uh, I am uh, I do weird controller stuff as you can see and explain what I do also so uh, the one thing I'm thinking of for the mouse movement I can do quite easily uh, um what is it called Pfft, the name skip oh i can do like a yeah uh yeah i'm sorry i am a prof I, I am an actual university professor so i do actually like explaining stuff uh it, it's better than actually watching me play games because i am a terrible video game player um but yeah so um i think like the wasd is going to be uh, either the WSD or the mouse, I'm gonna make a, uh, what's it called? Uh, a joystick. So I can make two joysticks and it's pretty easy to make a joystick for this. And so I'll have like, similar to a regular controller, I'll have two joysticks. Uh, the left click is easy. Um, the left click is easy because it's just uh, the click. Space is easy because it's just the space. Uh, but then like other stuff. This is where stuff are going to be. I'm really not sure how I'm going to do the reload. But yeah, but that's the plan. So um, we're going to have... And it's all going to be slime. Right? Because we're making a weird controller. So I'm going to make a weird two weird slime joysticks one will be WASD one of the mouse movement okay uh, and then um, I will have a slime button for left click a slime button which I will have to add a drag to which will be Sorry. Right click. I don't know if you can see anything, but uh, 
it's really ugly drawing so you should not see it anyway but like uh, 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 uh. yeah um okay so left right and then we have a few buttons we have the crotch and the use button the r and we have the x and we have the space uh and maybe like i can make it look prettier i don't know if this game needs to look pretty because like one of the things that works well in this game in terms of a control and why i'm using slime is because it goes all weird and dadaist and like look at this graphic so um yeah. while slime is usually fairly pinkish uh we'll get some non-pinkish slime uh we get some neon colors uh so it could be super messy but i think that's a solid plan for a controller and i think what time is it oh i have some time okay let's see how my slime is doing yeah doesn't look to be slimed at all it is hardening uh, let's see the other one the other one felt better yeah oh this is a lot more slimy already like ugh, gross yeah uh, i think it does i uh as i said at the beginning of the stream i was just like uh i had an inspiration in the middle of the night after playing this game and being so horrendously terrible in it uh that uh okay so this one is almost done uh the other one isn't um i don't know why i'm gonna try and do a bit more maybe i added a little bit too much water for this one Okay, so I'll get messy. I'll have to. Um, I need. I think like <laughs> I need to buy a bigger desk. Uh, not a bigger desk. I need a wider desk. Like I have a really long desk. I need a wider desk because I don't have space for my keyboard and to do this. Because I also have a big keyboard. <laughs> I have a. I have a model. Uh, I be a model M, and it's really big. So uh, I might need to find. Maybe I, I'll buy another mechanical keyboard that is smaller just for streaming with lights. Even though the Model M is cooler than all the light ones. Let's be real here. God. I'm gonna find myself weirdly in the internet because I'm doing this. Okay. I don't understand why this toy is even a thing that exists. Okay, I'm going to plug in the Makey Makey and I'm just gonna make um, like just for the left click. Oh, it's such a terrible toy and it's so expensive. I said before, it cost me like 49 CAD, like Canadian dollars. That's a lot of money for like a shitty slime and whatever this gross thing is like what the hell am i getting uh like w what the fuck is happening what are we teaching the kids uh, yeah like this one is, is somewhat cute but like look at this hideous monster like look at this what the hell is this who wants this Okay, I'll probably have to make like my own slime because I don't, uh, I don't think I'll have enough slime for uh, stuff. Okay, let's. Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna start. Um, actually, I'm gonna make the slime. Okay, so continuing this slime adventure. Oh God. 
this is horrendously gross, but also I think kind of fitting for whatever this game is. Uh, oh man, the thing I do for clout. Okay, and you add like you have to add uh, unicorn magic, which is probably later. Oh, I think it's like, oh, what is this? I think it's gonna be shiny by the end of this. And I guess you're supposed to, oh my god. Okay. Yuck. Oh, this is so gross. I mean, I guess it's fitting. Uh, yeah, this is weird though. Oh my god. And I have to clean my table. Uh. Oh, that's really gross. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get a thing to clean my table. I guess it's slime now. Oh, this is so gross. Okay, I'm gonna get some uh, paper towels. <laughs> oh my god. Just so you, you'll see, this is my, <laughs> the current, uh, uh, like, head situation i think it's like makes it shinier uh like oh this is so gross now it's getting stuck to my hand okay i'm gonna grab some paper I do for this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put this back in. And I think you're supposed to like Yeah, like like I understand the, the idea of slime, but slime is like Literally, I mentioned before, like if you really actually want to do slime, all it is you get to you get like you need to get some glue, uh, like white glue and like borax. That's it, and you just like mash it together and you get off slime. Uh, but yeah, I think like the unicorn poop stuff and like who's the market? I mean, it's made it, it's making a lot of money and So I'm guessing people are buying it but like aside from this, it's not even that good of a slime anyway Okay, let's see the other one. This other one is still not slimed. Still like making sounds. Anyway, I do like the bubbles. Uh, like those are neat. If, if anything I'll keep from this adventure is those bubbles. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna make my own slime for the next one. 
uh, probably ones that it's less liquidy. Okay, uh, so our Makey Makey is connected, Ugh. and this is slimy. So what drew me to cross this route? So, um, <laughs> frankly, the dude from God of War was shitting on it uh, uh, a week ago, apparently, and I, you know, uh, I don't like, there was a lot of like yelling about him shitting on it and I'm a big fan of like trolley kind of thing or like experimental work um, and this is like kind of a neat troll uh, game where everything about it is meant to be uh, not pretty and I kind of like it. Um, I was talking last week a little bit about Dada. Uh, which is a, an art movement from like early 20th century where they made like uh, art that it was anti-art which was art that was like uh, that was supposed to look gross it was supposed to look like unappealing uh, supposed to go against the convention of art which was and it was like sort of art that came as a response to um, World War One. So we, so I was, so I really, and it's an art movement I really like. Uh, I like the concept of it. I like the idea of anti-art and anti-games and like um, breaking what what the meaning of a game is. Like we're so based around like the visual aesthetics of video games nowadays like if you play a triple a game it looks so real nowadays and sort of a game that comes in and it's still a good game it's overall positive but it looks like this i kind of love that fact uh i'm not very good at it or good at all it is but i i do enjoy the concept of it all okay time to make a controller to start making a controller. So I need, oh, I forgot my ring. Okay, I'm gonna move a lot. Sorry. office is right next to the the kitchen but yeah I, I started playing it because for this world because uh uh yeah if you like look for my actual name uh in class I make like uh I'm like professor if you follow me on twitter there's a link uh I make uh weird experimental games uh, I don't know if any of them are good, but um, I think my most famous game, my two most famous games, which is, you know, famous in like a sense of uh, two people play them and there's like some articles written of them. One was like, uh, was called Real Army Simulator and it was a boring game about the military. Uh, and the second one was a game I made in Excel. Uh, and I make my Karen stick, I guess, aside from this, uh, is that I make games in the non-game engine. Uh, so I made uh, one in Excel, I made one in, with, using Instagram stories. Um, and now I'm making one in, um, what's it called? Uh, I'm making a game in Miro, which is like a... Uh, uh, like a whiteboard uh, program uh, so I'm making something in Miro at least for now I don't know when I'll start making it and also I'm waiting for an answer for some research funding for a game in uh, that uses the Alexa and like digital humans and AI and stuff so yeah I make a lot of weird stuff I don't know if they're specifically playable but uh, but yeah, uh, you can find 
uh, a lot of the stuff under Twitter, uh, in my Twitter, or um, like it's on each uh, under my name, Ifat Shaikh. Um, just to say, I might have to lock myself out of social media uh, in a few days, but uh, because of something, but yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna do like a very basic thing which is uh, just a click um, so I'm just in the uh, okay so we want to do um, ground first But yeah, I try to make a, a few games in the summer, each summer. Uh, being an academic, I, I don't have to, I don't have the pressure of like making everything that is like uh, commercial. So I can just... Um, make some weird chat. Um, okay. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> I need to get my computer and my uh, my. Uh, I'm I'm like playing like this. So my <laughs> my keyboard is here. Uh, but yeah, let's see if I can shoot. Yes. Uh, oh, also I need to have like the one and two. Um. Yes. Eh. I think I'm out of bullet. So this is where this is like the more problematic thing because so the reload in this game is kind of weird, where you have to move the thing down there. And then like R is for opening stuff. Okay. Now I can. Ugh. Um, like the makey makey. It's uh, if you ever seen an Arduino. Um, it's basically a microcontroller, but the difference between uh, like. An Arduino, which is a much more, um, it's a much more, you can do a lot more with an Arduino in terms of a microcontroller. So you can connect it to LEDs and make lights and make like installations and stuff like that. Uh, Makey Makey is built specifically for uh, video games. So um, it's just wired, like, I'm not an electronic person, so someone who knows electronics probably can explain better. But it's it's basically designed in a way that you can just plug and play. Uh, it's really neat little machine. Um, uh, but as long as something is conductive, so for example, um, um, slang is conductive because it has. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun just shooting this way. Uh, slime is conductive because it has like uh, borax, which is a salty. It's it's basically a type of salt. I mean, someone who knows chemistry would probably yell at me about saying that, but I'll I'll keep it like that. So um, uh, it has ions basically, and that makes them conductive. And so I can just connect it to the Makey Makey, and the Makey Makey just connect to a USB. And you can just make it work. And I believe, like, um, uh, what's called um, uh, PlayStation, Sony just like has, has started, like, um, had like a pattern for something very similar, and everybody's kind of mad because they look like they're trying to get Makey Makey to stop working. But you can buy this retail, like, from Amazon or something, or, or uh, SparkFun or whatever other electronic place. Um, 
like I don't know where you live, but like in Toronto, there's a specific store you can go and buy electronic stuff. So you can go there and just buy it from, and it's like fifty bucks. It costs nothing, and it's really neat. Um, it has its limitation. Okay, I think this guy's ready. Give it like, yeah, it's still really liquidy. Give it like a second more. Um, oop. So I wonder how do I recharge my weapon when I'm out of weapon. Yes, I get that because I just like did everything. Uh, okay, exit to the uh, yeah, I mean, you should ask someone with like does uh, electrical engineering because they will know more. Because I do not like I can tell you, like I I like I teach in art and and uh, like my my research is game design so obviously I do programming but my background is mostly art so uh, I can explain some of the stuff but it's not my my thing but it's all like um, um, uh, microcontrollers so electrical engineers will, can probably explain to you how it works um, and it, it is programmable uh, um, you can use the Arduino programming thing which I believe is Java I know processing is Java I want to say Arduino is also Java uh, and like so you can you can uh, reprogram it which is probably what I would have to do and since I haven't reprogrammed anything Arduino in like since grad school it's gonna be interesting uh, but yeah if you know anyone from electrical engineering they might be able to explain to you uh, Okay, let's see how this guy is doing. Okay, so to order to avoid too much grossness, I'm going to put the uh, unicorn magic um in uh in the thing and start from there so i think the unicorn object is just like um like glittery stuff it's really gross and it's way overpriced and i don't understand parents for buying this Where are you studying? Uh, yeah, I mean, the artistic part of video game goes um, back and forth. Um, I mean, I think it's similar to our sworn enemy film people, where it's just... Uh, okay, George Mason, yeah. Um, they, um, like, there's always, like, a competition between the commercial aspects of video games and, like, the, uh, the non-commercial aspect, like, the artistic stuff, so, in many respect, like, as a, someone who's, like, a university professor, you know, my research... Uh, is to make games like I'm, I'm in a very unique position because a uh, what's called research creation is not it's still fairly new even in academic in academic circle certainly like video games well like all universities are like oh video games that's cool uh, a lot of them are like you know they want it because money because it brings in students uh, but they don't actually know 
what it is is it entail and so uh I like I, i'm in a fairly unique position um where like i get to do research as part like my games are made for research and i'm getting paid you know a, a, a professor um you know salary which is better than an artist salary uh but like if you're an indie developer and i have a lot of friends who are indie okay this one is really gross can't even describe how liquid this is but if you're um like uh, uh like an indie developer in uh, even in Tor even in Ontario where I live where there's actually funding for video games it's really hard to make a living from doing video games um, it takes a really long time to make a video game it's it's really complicated like even the programming of video games can be <laughs> is a bigger pain than other types of programming because it's mostly like a shit ton of if statement and like you have to sort of predict everything that is going to happen and you can so it's super messy uh this is for my understanding from talking for with computer science people um and sort of if you're a game dev if you're a small one you sort of have to wear a lot of hat so there's always like the commercial aspect where most people like they don't have the privilege to make something that is that artistic because they can't make they can't make uh, they can't survive um where i can make weird artsy stuff and it doesn't matter because i'm expected to do weird artsy stuff uh it's research um but yeah uh but i think this is this game is a really good example because it's like i mean mechanically like the rules it's it's still it's just an fps like it's still a first all it is is a first person shooter but uh in terms of the actual let's try to get the wasd working uh and then i think i'll be done for today um in terms of like the look and stuff like that they kind of went wild uh and sort of the story and they Again, went wild with the nihilism of it all, mentioning Dada again. Um, I don't know if they meant it to be Dadaist, but you know, I'm, I'm always pro weird, work weird nihilism. And I mean, I don't know how much money they're making from this, but it is like uh, getting a lot of really nice feedback on, uh, on like Steam and social media. So I hope they do. They also used uh, Gadol which is a, um, it's like a open, I, as far as I know it's Godot's, which is like an open, um, uh, an open source game engine uh, that uh, I haven't tried yet. I know a lot of people really like uh, and sort of been like trying to take over some of the game engine space that Unity and Unreal are controlling. Um, I don't know how much with success, but I know a lot of people have been uh, really interested in it as a game engine. So um, I'm really interested to see if uh, um, if off as a game engine, if it will manage to get anywhere uh, interesting. So they, they, this one is done in Godot. Um, so, uh, a lot of this is really interesting in terms of, uh, just the way they done it. Okay. So I'm going to try to see if I can get the arrow key to work. Uh. No, cause it's in its WASD. Okay, let me. Uh, so this is where it's like where I need to like, uh, like reprogram this, cause um, it can't. 
deal like he, he like he doesn't have this is arrows and doesn't uh, recognize WASD and that's not a good thing so um, let's click here and where is my WASD But I was, I've been planning to do like streaming for a while and I keep like, I kept like not having time and also being slightly like, oh, I don't know how it's gonna go, but it's been going pretty well. Um, so let's see. So this is probably not gonna work because they're all in the same kind of thing, uh, which is not uh, not a, the best idea. But uh, I'm gonna try this anyway. Okay, let's put the ring on. Okay, this is working. Uh, let me just put this in. So I can move and I can shoot. Um, yeah, I don't think mechanically there's anything particularly interesting in this one. Oh, this is touching each other. Uh, it's just like kind of neat looking um, and like I haven't gone to the story because if you all see my last stream, I was very bad at this. Um, the secret of game dev is that all game developers are really bad gamers. Uh, not all, but a large chunk of us. Like there's always like this thing where we don't want to mention how bad we are in playing video games. Okay. I think I need to like Okay, it worked for like a second and now it stopped Okay, I will have to like do something like this. This is not the most effective way, but I think I will have to do like <clears throat> um, I think making it into um, a joystick would probably work the same, the best way.
Let's do shift. Let's change weapon. And now I can shoot. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is working, sort of. Uh, I do need to figure the reload. I think the reload it will actually be the hardest part because of the mouse drag. But yeah, uh, let's move a little bit forward. Okay. This was both neat and extremely gross. So, um, mm -hmm. okay, that's about time for me to start packing up because I need to do other stuff. Uh, this is still immensely gross. Um, I'm gonna, so what I'm gonna do is A, actually make my own my own slime i think um because again it's super simple to make and i don't have to make pay 49 fucking dollars for this amount of slime sorry i'm I, I feel like i'm feeling rage like if i was a mom and i had to buy this for my kids i would be in rage um but yeah does this all fit in it? Uh, let's see if I... Now I want to see something. Uh, uh, I don't... Right now I'm not sure about my schedule. I post, usually I try to... Uh, uh, try to um, stream on Mondays and Thursdays uh, until at least April because then my semester ends so I can I have more time uh, but um, uh, I'll probably be back on Monday uh, same time uh, and I'll be playing some um, uh, okay okay this is working um, I'll probably play actually some retro stuff. So I've been, aside from doing weird game engine, game stuff uh, like this, game controller stuff, I've been uh, playing um, old uh, MS-DOS games, random MS-DOS games from um, archive.org because they have like a whole library of those. Okay, this is, doesn't even fit inside of this. What the fuck? Okay, I'll just put it back into this. Sorry, I'm really mad. Um, so yeah, Monday I usually try and stream um, either like a weird indie or a retro game. Um, so I'll probably do some retro stuff. Um, uh, so I, I usually stream like, I've been streaming, just playing some weird random games that nobody remember. Um, and then like, um, like I know like I'm 30 almost 38 so I have friends who have kids and like I'm sure some of them had to buy this shit to their kids and I'm enraged um, yeah so um, so yeah Monday I'll probably do some retro stuff and then uh, Tuesday next Thursday I'll continue working on the on this controller like i usually don't stream on fridays uh just on time and then once april comes i'll probably have a little uh, more time because i uh, my semester ends in april so i don't have to teach uh, and i just have to do stuff um so i'll probably uh start streaming uh not every day but at least like more frequent in in higher frequency than right now but yeah i'll be back on uh, monday Probably. Uh, tomorrow is movie night uh, where I do my 
weekly socializing in our Zoom age. Uh, we are watching all the Fast and the Furious movies. Um, so I don't miss that. Not even for streaming. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, what time is it? Okay. So, um, I guess thank you for joining me. Um, as I said, I usually mirror Tuesday, 9 uh, Monday, 9 a.m. and Thursday, 9 a.m. Uh, 9 a.m. 9 p.m. 9 a.m. I am sleeping. Uh, EST, um, um, and then, uh, as I said, coming April, I'll be, uh, hopefully streaming more, but, uh, yeah, on, and, uh, Monday I am going to do some retro games from archive.org. Okay. Ugh. And, uh, also, so uh, Thursday I'll do another, I'll continue with this and I'm probably what I'm going to do for Thursday is uh, reprogram the makey makey. I think that's pretty much what we're going to do. Okay, uh, thank you. And I will see you all very soon. <laughs>